On this channel, you've seen me make a Shazam cake. You've seen me make a Superman cake, but I've never showed you how to make a Super Shazam cake. Today, that changes. Today, we are collaborating with Space Taste, and I'm gonna be taking one of their superhero mashups and turning it into a superhero mashup kawaii cake. Super Shazam. This guy turned out really cool, so let's get started. My name is Quagmire and a giggity. I've been watching a ton of Family Guy, so let's get started. So Space Taste is a YouTube channel that does a lot of stuff. They recut trailers, they do like true Hollywood stories, but for superheroes. And they also have like these character mashups where they take two characters like Pikachu and Spider-Man, and then they draw them together and they have them battle another mashed up character like Deadpool and Aquaman. I thought it would be cool to take one of their mashed up characters and turn it into a kawaii cake, so that's what we're doing. Now last week I created a Shazam cake for the movie and I gotta tell you I really liked the movie. I loved all of the foster children. I loved Billy Batson. I think the kid with the crutch is so much more charismatic than Billy Batson. But I loved everyone. The bad guy. I even loved the parents. And the dad is from The Walking Dead. Did anyone else catch that? I really like that he's getting more work. And before you know it you get this extremely adorable Shazam cake or Captain Marvel. That's his actual name. But they changed it because you can't have two. You can though, but nobody likes sharing. I'm curious, what did you guys think of the Shazam movie? Did you like it? Who was your favorite character? Now we're not done yet. A few months ago, I created this amazing kawaii Superman cake, along with a whole bunch of other Justice League characters. This cake went through the exact same process as my Shazam cake, and you get this extremely cute result. And that Superman logo is looking on point, man. Now that you've seen my Shazam and my Superman cake, let's create a Super Shazam kawaii cake. Now this cake starts out the exact same way as my Shazam cake, except instead of using Funfetti, I'm using a chocolate cake. Repeating that process, cutting out the shape, pulling away the extra cake. And then I just cut my cake in half and continued. Now if you guys like sci-fi, superhero, and geeky stuff, make sure you subscribe to Space Taste. They do parody documentaries, they break down sci-fi films, but my favorite is all the time-lapse stuff. I love watching my favorite characters get drawn and the added mashup is just brilliant. I told my friend that he needs to do a Deadpool and a Cinderella drawing and I will make the doll cake. <laughs> it'd be funny and it'd be so cool to make. So make sure you subscribe and comment that you would like to see a Deadpool and Cinderella video so that I can make the doll cake. After I was finished with all of the icing, I just started to carve away a circle at the top. I just started to round out the edges and separate his arms from the rest of his body. Now I'm gonna give my entire cake a crumb coat, just working my buttercream everywhere. I covered the bottom of my cake in red fondant again. And this was kind of a mistake. I should have covered it with blue fondant. There's more blue than red, which is why I should have covered this in blue and not red. Now to create the top of Super Shazam, I'm adding another layer of fondant blue. <laughs> so many layers of fondant for this cake, you guys. Just add it on top, made sure that I separated the arms from the rest of the body, and then just cut away the excess using an X-Acto knife. I did a terrible job. <laughs> now there's a lot of red showing through, but because of all the detail we're creating for this cake, you won't see it in the end. Now just like Shazam, I'm gonna give him some really thick wrist detail work to create his wrist armor. And I changed it up a little bit just so it would match the drawing more. Now I'm also gonna give him a belt and some boots using that gold, mustard, brown, yellow fondant. And I also gave him some color detail with one of the medallions that Shazam has. Super Shazam, Superman, Shazam, that's why it's blue and red. This is a combination, so I wanted to make sure I mashed up the head as well. So to create his hairline, I'm actually using the hairline I created for the Superman kawaii cake. So he has that signature curl. Again, a moon for his mouth, two black eyes with white catch lights, and our Shazam, Super Shazam logo. And voila, our Super Shazam cake was complete. I gave him a long white cape with some gold detail and I didn't realize how much of a difference it made, but it did, it made a huge difference. 
Now make sure you head over to Space Day so you can watch the time lapse of the creation of Super Shazam. And they also tell a story of how Super Shazam is going up against his arch nemesis, Bat Adam which is Batman and Black Adam. Hopefully in the future they have one where it's Deadpool Cinderella who's gonna fight the wicked stepmother juggernaut. Ride it. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed this. Thank you to Space Days for collaborating with me. I will see you very soon. Peace!